All right. So good morning. Let everybody a moment, one minute before we start. So make sure your equipment is to the side. Also medicine roll, step up, dumbbells, bench, whatever you have should be handy, sliders. If you don't have sliders, make sure that you're using a plastic plate. Honestly, those paper plastic plates are awesome, like for sliders. You don't even need to have regular sliders. They will work perfectly on the carpet or on the hardwood floor because we're gonna be using them. Then stability ball, anything that you have, just pull it up because it's gonna be kind of grabbing the equipment and going. And if you have a stretch strap like this one that I have in my hands, use it. If you don't, you can use a monster bag. Kind of will work the same way. If you don't have this too, grab literally a string, something that is pretty long that we can use for stretching. Hi, Clara. Morning. Good morning, good morning. So today we're gonna start stretching on the floor, okay? Not in standing position, laying down position, second. Stretch strap, if you don't have one. Monster bend, if you don't have one, get a literally a rope. Tie the end and use it for your leg. Let's do this. Lay down on the floor. We, we starting on time. Somebody logged in right now. They have to kind of catch up and, and start going if you're recording this. You're gonna have a plenty of time to get yourself ready. So we're gonna start together, okay? We're gonna place the end of this shirt shot in your foot. If you do not have this and only have monster bird, you're gonna do the same. Just loop this around. Lay down on the floor, lower back press against the floor. We're gonna actively pull the leg up. Now the very important part is to keep your toes down. Don't point your toes, flex them. So go up and down with that leg. Make sure that you are straight, that the leg is straight through the knee, that you're not bending the knee. Now, e each of us has a different range of motion. You see that maybe the legs are higher than 90 degrees. Now, when you're gonna bend your left leg, you're gonna see that the right leg is gonna come up a little higher. And that's the whole point. Bend that leg and bring it up and down, just like this. Take your time, make sure that the, you can do this even better feet. This is awesome when you do this actually without your your shoes, you're gonna feel it even more. Okay, time, bring that leg up, straight up. Left leg is down on the floor. We're gonna bring your right leg out to the side, to your right side. So right leg to your right side. It's touching the inner thighs. The adductors, adding something. Left arm is on the floor. Bring that leg straight up and down. Look, just like that. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Bring that leg straight up towards the ceiling. Make sure that your hips are totally flat on the ground. Take a breath in and exhale. Just make sure that that right leg is out to the side and it's straight. Good. And time. I'm going to bring that right leg up. Your left hand is holding the strap. Your left hand. Now your right arm is going down to the side. And you're going to bring that left leg across your body. Now try to keep your right shoulder extended along the shoulder side, right there, extended on the floor, palm is foot down. So try to bring that leg across without really lifting your right side. You're gonna see again your range of motion. How far your body can go without lifting that shoulder right on the, off the floor, okay? So try to face the ceiling, bring that leg to the side. Don't force it, take your time. And time, now we're gonna bend your left leg. Bring it down to the floor. You're gonna bring your right leg just this way like you would stretch the glute. Like we do this on the floor. You're gonna bring the entire leg in and then let it go. Slowly pull it in without pulling and twisting your foot. Your foot is totally extension of your leg right here. So bring it in. You feel that stretch in your glute. And again, take a deep breath in and exhale. As you bring in your leg one more time. And if you have time, you can do this a little longer, but we obviously we have to keep on going. So lay sideways on your left side. Your right leg, the top leg, is gonna come across behind you. Your strap is going through the right shoulder. Pull it in. Now look what we're gonna do. We're gonna get that right arm, kick that leg forward, and bring it again behind you. So your your bottom leg, which is your left leg, 
is slightly bent. Now we're gonna stretch the quads, we're gonna stretch the hip flexors right here, you feel it. Pull that heel into your foot. You're gonna feel it opening right here. Good, and time. Now we're gonna do everything on your left leg, so let's do it. I'm gonna purposely do it with my master band, so you guys can see it too, you don't have a stretch. Shop, even though they are available online on Amazon, you can get them. So left leg, toes are down. You're gonna feel it stretch, such a good stretch right here. Active. Tuck the heel, come right back up. But the whole goal is to keep that left leg straight. Deep breath in when the leg taps the ground and exhale. And you're getting into the rhythm of breathing. Inhale, mouth, exhale, lips. Now bend that right leg and see how the range of motion is. It immediately changes to wider and longer and higher, right? All right, bring it up. Now we know what to do. Legs are straight. Left leg goes to the left side of your body. Your right arm moves flat down. Extension right there, shoulder to shoulder. Bring the leg straight up and out. Now, the whole point to keep that right hip set down. Don't rotate your body. Keep it flat down. Then you're going to feel it in the and after stretching, bring it up and down. And again, deep breath in and exhale. One more time, you keep on going. Now we're gonna switch your right hand, grab that bend, left arm out to the side. You're gonna bring your left leg across your body, right? Make sure that both of your legs are straight. Take a deep breath in and again, remember when I told you with that shoulder. Your body will want to just rotate and you wanna travel, no. We're going to keep that left arm on the floor with that shoulder blade. That's the whole idea. Bring it up and down. You're going to see again, test your right of motion right here. Good. Bring that leg up. Now we're going to do a glute stretch. Now we remember, we're bringing the whole leg in here. Don't pull on your, just on your toes or on your ankle. You want the whole entire leg coming into your chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, pull it gently. Everything with stretching should be gentle. Kind of testing your body, seeing how it reacts, taking it time. Good, time. Now we're going to do sideways, which is that quad and the hip flexor stretch, right? We stay on the right side. Bring that leg behind you. Pull that bend over your shoulder. Bar leg must bend. Let that hip pull we'll slightly to the back, and you're gonna feel it right here. Now take a moment, kick it forward, and again, bring it back behind you. And keep on going, a few more times. And we are good. All right, time, perfect. We should feel good now, right? We're already like better, ready to roll. All right, so. So if you have it, sliders if you have it. We're gonna do a first one. If you do not have a bolster ball, you can do it on the pillow, on the floor, push up with sliders. Remember that this can be used as your plate at home. Don't use just regular uh, plate, <clears throat> just use the paper plates. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do push up and a knee tuck. So we're gonna stay on top of that for both the ball on the floor. We're gonna perform one push up. And both let me just take your time. When I go call a switch, you're gonna grab a third kettlebell and you're gonna do a front squat, alternating kicks. Okay? And we're gonna repeat this just three times and we're gonna move on to the next exercise. All right, we ready? Pay attention because the once I'm gonna say time and switch at that 10 seconds. To go to the next one. Three, two, I'm gonna position everybody, and one. Let's do this. Push up and an attack with those sliders. You don't have a sliders, use the towels. Use something at home. Get those paper plates. They're awesome when you slide them. They're really good. Go all the way down with your chest. Remember, push up, it shouldn't be just hips down and your chest stays up. All the way down, your whole entire body is grasping that floor, like hovering above the floor. And time. Stand up. 
Loosen up, get ready for the kettlebell. Kettlebell at your chest, and you're going. Go. Kettlebell at your chest, remember, with, with those alternating kicks. Low squat and a kick. How we squatting? We're squatting like on an invisible chair, right? Pushing those hips behind us. Low squat. So it's in a, a rhythm. What I want, I want that rhythm. Down, kick, down, kick. Almost those elbows touching the knees. But paying attention to your back, not rounding that up. All right? Squat and kick, squat and kick. The legs should be shoulder width apart. It shouldn't be too wide. You should be perfectly shoulder width apart. Down and kick it. If you don't have obviously kettlebell, you can use the dumbbell. And time. Back, get yourself positioned for that push up with those sliders. Make sure that the sliders is that engagement of the abs constantly. So it's different than just doing knee taps. And go. Push up, knee tap. Go, go, go. Jump right away. I want to see that push up and knee tap. You have a bolster on the bolster. You have a just <clears throat> floor. You're doing it on the floor. When you're doing it on the bolster, make sure that that dot you, is directly in line with your chest. Go all the way down. All the way down, abs tight, loose tight, sit tight, strong. Pull those knees, pull those knees with these sliders. And time, right away into that kettlebell. Getting that kettlebell. Are you doing that front squat of dumbbells? And a kick. Get into the rhythm, kick it. Engage that drum effort with those squats when we kick. We engage the quads, right? Shoulders back, chest is down. Good, breathe up. Nice. Kick that camera. Good. Don't hyperextend your legs. Just stand up and engage your quads. And time, immediately. You have 10 seconds to get into your position of the push-up. Go, you have five seconds. It's quick, it's quick. Set your feet on top of these sliders. With all your feet, and you are going. Go, full push up, and then you If you will be doing this on the floor, you're gonna be right here. Boom, slip, and slip, push up, knee tap. Nice, deep breath in, and exhale as you're pulling those legs. Tight legs, strong legs. Nice, nice. Three, two, one, and switch to your squats. Please make sure you are, if you are on my zone, your camera must be on. I need to see you. Go, squat and, and kick. Ava, I don't see you. And this is not a coaching. I need to see your, yeah, there you go. If you are on my class, you are not allowed to turn off your camera. Everybody turn on your camera, please. I want to see you, not the ceiling, not the bathroom. I want to see you and your body. Now you squat and kick and do other things. And time, time, shake it out because we're going right into dumbbell alternating shoulder press. So this is, that's the time that you have your break. That's it, as I'm explaining these exercises. So look, right here, 90 degree angle. Not here, not military, right here. One like this, just alternating. Look, smooth. So don't go like this and then wait. Boom, boom, boom. It might be a little lighter than normal, so you have that rhythm going. And then we're gonna go into monster bend roll. So get your monster bend ready. You're gonna use your monster bend underneath your feet halfway. Exactly, left shoulder with the part, the legs should not be together, right here. And you're gonna roll, sideway view. Look, back is straight, and turn tight and glutes are tight. I am 45 degree angle right here. Good grip with my hands, and I'm rolling in. Let's do this. Three, two, one, 90 degrees, go. So, Clara, you have to have a 90 right here. From here, that's when you go. 
You're not low, going lower, okay? Just here. There you go. But look, switch, switch. Hold for a second. Switch, switch. It's different than going alternating just like that, okay? Johanna, face me so I can see you. Knees are slightly bent, everybody. To protect your lower back. There you go. Nice. Shoulder blades. Good. I see Ava. Awesome. And time. Go right into that bend over roll. Set yourself up right in the center. Knees have to be bent. Look, I'm hinging from the hips forward. 45 degree angle. Not here. 45. Right there. And I'm going to roll it in. Go. Right away. Right away. You don't have to bend. You're doing it with the dumbbells. There you go. Some, some of you will want to do with the dumbbells, not with the bend. However, if you have all the equipment, you follow exactly the lead. There you go. Pull it in, pull it in tight. Stomach. Back is straight. Good. Squeeze. And again, inhale is down. Exhale is up. And time, back to those overhead presses. Quickly, quickly. This is just a few seconds in between. You're grabbing that and you're going. Three, two, one, go. Bam, bam, bam. Whoever is doing it later, get the same tempo as I'm doing. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Here, 90 degrees, engaging all your shoulders. Abs tight, glutes tight, 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 stomach, everything tight. And time, right away into that bend. This is our second round, right into that bend. I want to see you on that bend. Halfway, putting your feet right in the center of this bend. And roll it in. Go, roll. Good, perfect. Keep those wrists straight. Everybody, I see you, I see you. A little dark in the corner there, but I see you. Breathe out as you're pulling. Few more. Four, three, two, one. One more time, one more time. Get those dumbbells, get those dumbbells. This should be a quick. I mean, that's, your break is just to grab these dumbbells. Set it up and go. Go. Remember, 90. Open up your shoulders like this. Squeeze your shoulder blades together first. And then you go. So you feel that stretch in your chest. But then engagement in your back. You feel the bicep. You feel the tricep. Knees are bent. One. Arm. at. Time, just like this. Abs tight, loose tight. Go and go, almost there. Few more, few more. Don't give up. Don't drop it. Don't drop it on me. You'll have five, oh, four, three, two, one. Good. Get that bend going one more time. Get that bend going. Let's do this, let's do this. Three, two, one, you're already in position. A little urgency, you're gonna hop right in. That's how you gotta feel. Boom, I gotta grab that equipment quickly. Even at home, if somebody's replaying or ever you're gonna go back to that session. If I'm starting, you start. It shouldn't be later, it should be exactly on time. Good, Johanna. Come on, Clara, I wanna see you. You switching to a heavier dumbbells? All right, <laughs> just asking. All right, pull it in, squeeze in. Three, two, and time. Awesome, we're going right into pull. So we did push lower, we did push pull, and now we're gonna go pull and lower. So we're gonna start with a renegade roll position with your dumbbells, and then we're gonna have lower body Step up with medicine ball. So get that medicine ball ready. Now, renegade roll. Feet should be wide. Feet not should be together in renegade roll. It's a high plank roll. So you're going to roll that dumbbell without 
lifting and rotating. You're totally flat and stiff. And your goal today is to pay attention to your midsection when you're rolling. You're not going to be twisting and turning. If you twist and turn, the dumbbell is too heavy. That's it, the bottom line. You got to stay straight on the ball of your feet. You're going to roll. You're going to brace yourself and you're going to alternate your arms right on the front. Now the step up. Everybody have a medicine ball? So if step up, you're going to be doing either balsu or step or a couch. If you're using a chair, make sure that the chair is against the wall. You're going to do a cradle position right here. And you're gonna do an alternating step up. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg down. Right, left, right down, okay? Let's do this. We have two simple exercises and effective. Three, two, one. We are going, renegade roll. On the ball of your feet, feet are wide, roll. Take your time, don't rush. Pull it in without rotating, without twisting. Staying totally parallel towards the ground. Very nice, Clara. Thank you for fixing your camera. You want me to see you. Clara, hands closer. Hands closer should be underneath the shoulders. There you go, right there. Good, Johanna. Try not to lift your hips. I see your hips. Think that you have a cup of water on top of your back. And that water cannot be moved at all, cannot drip outside of that glass. That's it. That's how you gotta feel. And time. Get up, get up, get that ball. You don't have a ball. You're using a kettlebell. You're using a pillow, heavy pillow. You're using a sandbag. You, I don't know, even a bolster ball, whatever there is. Step up, step down. But the whole idea is to hold that position like that. Not just hands, just holding it as you're stepping on top of that ball. Okay, so if you're stepping on top of the ball, half a ball, ball small, you're going like this. Go. We took a little time to explain. Elbows are higher. Make sure that you, when you're stepping with your foot, entire foot goes on top of that ball. You're doing a four step movement one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay? Don't just stop it and go down. That's not the same. There you go, elbows are high. High elbows. And time. Back to your row, quickly. I'm counting the seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going, you're going, you're going. Show, hand underneath your shoulders, not wider. They should be right there. Otherwise, you are too wide. It's not going to feel comfortable. Abs and glutes are tight strong, you're staying on the ball of your foot, one foot and the other foot, you have a wide position, so you're, you're, you have a four point support, very good, roll it in, one arm at a time, slower is better sometimes than fast. Good Ava, roll it. If you have a one dumbbell, you're gonna be switching one arm at a time, you can do 15 on the one, 15 on the left, and time. Get up, get up, get up on your feet right away. That ball in front of you, right there holding that ball. Ideally, you would be to have a big ball. You're gonna get up and down. There you go. Go. Go, 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 go. Step up, step up. Elbows are high right here. That's where you hold that ball. So you see. Yes, ideally is to have such a variety of equipment because each equipment is different, right? Sometimes you think, oh, I have a medicine ball, but yet yeah, different dimension, it's gonna start a little bit different, right? So sandbag, white ball, heavy pillow. And time, right onto that renegade roll again. Go, right into that pull motion. You pull it, you're pulling the dumbbell. Good, try not to make your hips high. Make sure that your whole body is in a straight line position. Go Joanna, go, go, go. Clara, pay attention to your shoulders. Ava, your hips are a little lower, okay? There you go, right there. 
Johanna, don't drop your hips on me. Don't drop your hips on me. Your hips should, there you go. See how this self fits yourself? Nice. And that's what I'm talking about. I need to see you, otherwise I can't correct you. Time, up, up, up on your feet. You, 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 listen, it's urgency, okay? I don't know, house on fire, something. Get up there, go, that, get that bone, get up. Right away, immediately, quick, 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 quick. Hands are up, elbows are high. Don't drop that ball. You're getting up, you're getting down. Right leg, left leg. If you have a hard time doing coordination movement when you have to switch your legs, stay on that right leg, and now you will be switching into your left. Okay, so halfway through you will switch. Sometimes coordination can slow down the movement because you are not coordinated, and you just keep on trying to fix it, and you're slowing down yourself. So don't let this stop you. And time, awesome. Three times, let's move to the next one. In the meantime, you have you drinking your water, but you're setting up to the next one. Chest press on the floor. We're going with push, and now we're gonna go into stability ball, then fly. So, chest press, obviously you're gonna get the dumbbells. They're challenging, because chest is a good big muscle. You can lift a lot. Knees are bent, back is flat, you can press, right here, doubles don't need to meet, right? Then the ball fly on that ball right here, I have that ball, you're gonna, if you don't have stability ball, you can do it on a balsa ball standing, and I'm gonna show you all variation right here. So your shoulder blades have to be off that ball, that is straight, like this, look, you're gonna squeeze. You, if you're gonna be here, you're not gonna have enough range of motion to try to go this way. You can do chest press on the ball and then do the flies, or you can go standing if you don't wanna do the ball, okay? So both options. Let's do this. Chest press, heavy dumbbells. Pull those heavy dumbbells. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Press, press, Clara, press, press. Where are you? Clara is pulling like some heavy dumbbells. All right, I like that. Knees are bent. And go. Remember that your shoulders should not be in line with your elbows. Your elbows should be slightly to the side, down. They should not be here. There shouldn't be a chest press right here when you're pulling that dumbbell above your face. It's about that chest. Squeeze your chest, squeeze it. If you have a bench at home, you can do this on a bench because then you're gonna have a bigger range of motion. If you have a ball, stability ball, you can do this on a ball and hold the position. Time, up, up, up. Either standing or laying down, reverse flies. Go, right away. The equipment has to stay by you. Go, quickly. Standing or laying down. Reverse flies. There you go. Clara, if you have a band like this, you have your both handles. Okay, so you can grab that band halfway through, halfway through, and then the handle's on the outside, and then stretch it. Go all the way, I wanna see it. Extend your arms. Okay, both arms should be extended. Do a single bend out of it. Do a single bend out of it. Single bend. Okay, okay. keep on going. I'm gonna show you something in a second. And time, go back to the chest press. I'm gonna show you in the next round. Go back to the chest press. If you're pressing on that ball, make sure that your hips are high. When you're pressing and your head is on the ball, go. Press, press, press. Yes, we're going up and down, but we gotta move. Nice, Ava. Press it all the way up. Your elbows tapping the floor gently or hovering above the floor, you're squeezing the chest as you're pressing it. Remember about what I told you with those elbows. Don't keep them up high. They should be right in here. 
right in here. And time, back up, back up, right away with that band. So if you have a short band, like for instance, Clara has that band, she has shoulder band, you can grab it here and then try to stretch. So the handles are down there, okay? Try to stretch that band this way. Go. There you go. Just watch those handles so they're not gonna hit you. Go. Johanna hips up. Johanna hips up. Hips up, Johanna. Hips, hips, hips. Your hips. There you go. Your shoulder blade should be off that ball. You have to push yourself farther. Remember, with the reverse rise, your arms have to be straight. Elbows just gently bend. They shouldn't be here. They should be extended, show the right chest level. Squeeze it way behind you. Time, back to your chest press. This is our third time. Look how the time just flies so fast, like this. Go, Clara, go right away. We're not reading messages. We're not responding to anybody. We're not picking up the phone. We're not attending to anybody. The room is locked. It's your hour. Go, press it. Press. Remember what I told you. Ball is an option. Possible. Bench. You can do this all different ways. Knees are bent. You should not be pressing dumbbells with legs straight. Remember that. That's not how you press the, the dumbbells. And time. Get up, get up, get up. Right away, right away. I want to see that reverse fly. Reverse fly is going. Reverse fly is going. So I have a pin bed. I can go like this and maybe 15 seconds I'm gonna go like this and I have to go single. But I do not stop. I'm gonna modify before I stop, right? Good, Ava, I like this. Keep your knees slightly bent. Ava, I see like three iPods in here. Ava, iPod, Ava here. Ava Marie, Ava here. <laughs> you have like a whole studio set up there, huh? I like it. And time. Awesome job. We're moving forward. Yes, there is a lot of to cover. So now we're going to be doing deadlift. Either bar, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever there is, and this. Now this can be done on the bench. This can be done on the bossy wall. This can be done on a corner of your, of your couch. So it does not matter. Now get the heavy kettlebell if you have it. If you have just the dumbbell, you're going to be using this position of the dumbbell, just grabbing the dumbbell that way. Kettlebell here, we're gonna do a deadlift. So now you should have a heavy kettlebell, heavy, all right? Heavy right here. So we're hinging through the hips, pushing your whole body back, chest is leaning towards the floor, and then you're pulling by standing up, not hyperextending your knees, squeezing the quads. Then this, will go on the edge. Now, if you have a couch, you're gonna set yourself up on the edge of the couch. Your hands will go this way, just like that. You're gonna stay with your back straight and you're gonna be going down with 90 degree angle, with 90 degree angle of your arms, okay? So let's do this. Three, two, one, go. I want to see good leg lifts. So shoulder blades are pinched together, looking straight ahead. You go down and you come up. So your neck is extension of your back. You now keep on going up like this with your, with your head. You go down, you come up. You go down, you come up. You're squeezing your glutes. I want the engagement of the glutes. I want you to squeeze your hamstrings, which is the back of your legs. I want to pinch your abs. Let's bend with the knees. And time. Immediately, we're going into those dips. I want to see good dips. I want to see good dips. Peak freaks right there. Clara, are you going to be on the corner of the couch? John, are you on the bosu? So now make sure that your back is close towards the bosu or close towards your couch. Remember, you are on the edge right here. You shouldn't be there, okay? 
here, your back almost is scraping that couch, that step is down and up. There you go. 90 and up. You want uh, more intensity, you're extending those legs. Inhale is down and exhale is up. So don't push your hips forward like this. Just go straight down and up. And time back into that bell. Let, let's do this bell on your dumbbell. Remember what I told you. Don't bend your knees too much. It should be slight bent with your knees. It's all about pushing your hips as your chest goes towards the quads. Don't just bend down like this. That's not a deadlift. If you don't know how to do a deadlift, you're gonna stay away, a foot away from the floor. You're gonna push your hips back, dump your butt into the floor, lean it, and then stand up. And that's how you're gonna know that you did the deadlift. Put foot away from the wall. All right? Let's do this. Down and come up without hyperextending your knees and locking your knees. You're gonna take a deep breath in and exhale. Squeeze. Down and come up. Squeeze. And time, awesome. Right into a second round with your dips. Show me the dips. Show me good dips, show me good dip immediately and go. Right away, right away, back to straight, pump it. Down and up, good. Shoulders and chest forward, chest forward. Remember with those hips going straight down on the edge of your couch, of your seat, of your balsu, of your bench. And time. One more time, one more time. Last one, immediately. This is just 10 seconds in between. You gotta fly through that. Go, show me a good deadlift. Ava is already going. I like that. Extra work. Remember about the shoulder blades. Perfect position. Clara, let's bend with your knees. And remember, the dumbbell or kettlebell is in the center. So if anything, keep both dumbbells in the center, okay? Don't keep them outside. There you go. And come up. Excellent. Keep on going. Abs and glutes tight. Strong, strong. Stand up, nice. And time, awesome. Look, three times, one more time, just the, the, the dips, and we're moving on to the next one. Show me the dips. Dips, right away, right away, we gotta wake up. Remember, somebody is watching you later. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> they looking at how you're working. You better perform at your best. Shoulders, Clara, chest forward. There you go, like this, tall. Joanna, too. I don't see Ava on this one. I think she's stepping a little to the side to do that. A few more, a few more. Strong, push, breathe out. And time. All right, we're gonna go into multi-directional lunge with right leg, and then we're gonna go left leg. So we're gonna go three movements, then left, across with bent bicep curl. So we have lower and we have a pull. All right, so we're gonna get a kettlebell or dumbbell. Kettlebell or dumbbell. So how are we gonna do multi-directional lunge? We're gonna go forward. Side, reverse. The kettlebell at your chest or dumbbell at your chest. Forward, 90. This one is lunge, so I'm landing on my right. Left leg is straight. Reset, step back. Reset, now we go on left one. So you see left leg is stationary, it's not moving. But then bicep curl, you either have a bend like Clara has with the handles, or you have a monster bend you're adjusting that band and you're pumping your arms right here, okay? 
Keep your wrist straight, and I'm gonna give you cues as we go. Three, two, one, go. So forward, when you land it forward, remember, you land it on the ball, not on the ball of your foot, you're landing on the heel. You're resetting, you're going sideways, palms in line, push your hips back, right knee bend, left leg straight, reverse, left leg is stationary, stepping back 90 degrees. Then you're gonna reset. Forward left, side left, and reverse lunge, okay? Taking your time. And time. Go right into that bent bicep curl. Go immediately. Pump it right away. This is quick switch. So make sure that your station is set up next to you. So it's a quick switch. Go. Three, two, one. Clara, you have handles. You pump it with the handles, right? There you go. So elbows are on your side. You're keeping attention. So with, with working with bent, you need to have attention on the way down and on the way up. Make sure that the band is not loose when you go down and you, when you come up. Non-stop tension. Elbows slightly bent to the side. Knees are slightly bent. Looking straight ahead, shoulders down. Nice. Breathe out, breathe out. And time. Right back, right back to your lunge. If you started with your right leg, do it with your left leg. All right, let's do it with your left leg. Go. There you go. Pay attention to that leg, that knee. So forward, side, reverse. If the side does not feel good, don't do it. Do a squat. Because not everybody can take those sides, right? If this is your first time, maybe you don't want to do it with parallel or not, right? Maybe you just want to do it with body. And time, quickly, right into that bicep curl. Go, 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 pump it up. Pump, 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 pump that bicep. It's going to feel good. Let's do this. Knees bent, knees bent, shoulders back. Whatever you do, you're always getting into that position of chest forward, shoulders back and down, elongate through the spine. I, all these checkpoints before you start anything, always. And then once you're gonna get that, it's like the foundation of anything you do in fitness. So you're like checking, okay, where's my head? Is my chest forward? Is my knees bent? It, my abs are engaged, okay, and my glutes are tight. But now holding the breath, just kind of checking in and just going. Awesome, awesome. Push it, push it through a few more times. And time. Good, excellent. One more time. One more time. Go right away. You start it with your left, start with your right. There you go, side. And when you go side, you gotta push off that leg. When you go back, left leg is holding with your right, you gotta push. Few more, you're gonna finish on both sides. Keep that dumbbell kind of at your chest, close towards your chest. You're engaging your arms, holding the, the dumbbell or the kettlebell, right? And time. Awesome. One more time with the bicep curl. We are good on time. I can say girls, I don't have any boys here, but boys maybe will be doing it. So good, good, good job, boys. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Go ahead, pump it. And along the way, if you feel, okay, I need to grab a heavier pedal. I need to grab a heavier dumbbell. I need to grab a thicker band. Keep on switching. Get that equipment next to you so it's like on the fly, quick. Give me four. Breathe out three. Inhale, exhale two. And one more. Nice, awesome. 
sipping water. I'm explaining you the next the next one. We're going now pull but with dumbbells for the bicep curl. So now we're gonna pump the bicep. And now palms are up just this way. That's that's what the regular bicep. But if you have an injury with your hand, carpal tunnel, this might not feel good. Maybe you need to go with hammer curl and this is fine. So dumbbells going along with the pull. Now, if you have if you have a bend, you will be doing standing rows. I put it on my bar. Bob's leg is in, I, I choked the man. All right, so I pulled the bend on him, and I'm doing a standing row. If you do not have this, your option is dumbbells alternating monster bend or doing renegade roll again, all right? So those are your options. Ideally, you would be having a bend and doing a standing roll. But now everybody, remember, with these bands, just so you know, because some of you might not know, these bands, you put it in, in the door crack, you lock the door, this stays outside of your door, let everybody know to not open the door and you can do the rows. Remember that. That's what it's for. This thing stays outside the door. You lock the door. In that, you lock the door. This should be where the hinges are. You lock it. Nobody opens that door. You can go. Three, two, one. Go with that bicep curl. Go, go, go. There you go. So we, again, what's the position? Chest forward, shoulders stepping down, looking straight ahead, knees are bent, hips are in line, abs are tight, and you're going. You're pulling. You're going all the way down and all the way up, but feeling the engagement of that bicep. Don't lock your knees. Make sure that your knees are slightly bent. Because what happens is when you lock the knees, your whole position of your lower back changes. We're keeping the knees bent just to protect the lower back. And time, switch, switch for me. So either you choke the bob like I did, or you put your bend, whatever there is, your choice, go. Ava is going. You can do alternating arms here because you did already rows. So look, this creates instability. You don't have a bend, do on one arm, then switch on the other row, okay? There's always a way. Obviously not everybody has all the equipment needed, so you gotta just play around with this. There you go, like that. Bar. Just keep that back straight. Don't round it. 45 degree angle. And time. Back to your bicep curl. Right away, grab those dumbbells. Just quick shake. Quick shake and you're going. Shoulders back, chest out. Nice. Pull it to the top of the shoulders. And again, remember, it's a resistance. So on one, two count, it's up. On one, two, three, four, it's down. It's a basic rule. All right? If you have, if you go on for speed, obviously you will go faster, but that's not what we're doing right now. So take your time, really engage. Lower it down with resistance. And time. Switch again. Switch again. Go, go, go. Time is up. Remember, tempos are all different. So doing this with the rows. It's different than this, one arm at a time. Doing this is also different. So you choose, but remember which one you did. Hey, Bob, back is straight, back is straight. These are slightly bent around the back. And time. One more time, one more time. One more time, grab those dumbbells. Good. 
The energy is still going. We're not deflating like the balloons. All right? Let's do it. Let's do it. You pump the energy into your muscle. So you got to go. Feel it. <clears throat> Shoulders back. Chest is out. Knees are bent. Nice. And again, if you feel like that you're kind of rocky, that means that the dumbbell is too heavy. Some of you might be doing it with a bar, not with the dumbbells. Maybe you don't have a dumbbell, you have only bent. You can also use a heavy, heavy water bottle. And time, one more time on the bend, on dumbbell bend over rows. Go. <laughs> Pump it, pump it. Remember, don't raise those elbows high up this way so your shoulders position changes. It's the dumbbell go where your hands hang. That's where you're going to go. So the elbows are not going high. They're going 90 degrees here. X side, glute side, remember that one. And time. Awesome. Now we're laying on the floor. We're laying on the floor on your back, just body weight. We're going to be going back and forth. You're going to raise your both legs up with. Toes pointed straight up, and, and the upper body is off the floor. So that's important. Unless you don't want to work on your upper abs, but most of the times we do. That's why we have to raise head and shoulders so the top is engaged. You're going to raise those legs, you're going to drop them, not all the way, and come right back up. Okay? Now you're not going to be rushing. You're going to take your time. Ready? And I'm going to tell you to flip over after. Three, two, one. Now hands along with the side. Lower back is straight. Play, press against the floor. Legs are straight. I want you to fully extend your legs. Like really, extend them to the knees. And see how hard this is. Up and down. And when you go up, go to 90 degrees. Do not put your hands underneath the glutes. Because then... What happens is instead of your up, your abs doing the work, you're helping with your, you're lifting your glutes just so your lower back is pressed. No, you have to do that. You have to do that. And time, flip over. You're doing a plank walk and shoulder taps. So plank walk right here. Pinky down, thumbs are up. You're gonna place your hand in place of your elbow, other hand. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. You're gonna go down, hold for a second or two and come up. I want slow with no movement on your lower back. Stick and try, go. So remember, low, up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. And hold for two, three seconds, each position. Even on that shoulder tap. Count one, two, three, and switch. Johanna, no movement with your hips, no movement. I want stiff and tight. Eva, two. When you go up, you up. When you go down, you down with your hips. So hips go together with your shoulders. And time, flip over on your back immediately. Flip over, right away. You don't need to even turn. You just go down, drop down your back. Legs up, legs down. Oh, so cute the kids are getting up. Look at them. Go, up and down. <laughs> go down, come up. Go down and come up. Nice. Legs straight, tight. Down and lift. Awesome. Keep on going. All the way and all the way up. I see Ava. Hands along your side. Don't be like you are, your arms are only crossed there. Go here, right here. There you go. And time, flip over. This is quick. Flip over right there. And you started. You go in the low plank. 
I'm going to show you again. The pinky will be down. The thumb will be up. Now, from that position, you're going to place your hand in the place of your elbow. There, should be, there shouldn't be this movement. We're not doing this. No seals here. All right? <clears throat> go, go. Johanna, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. There you go. No hips movement. I don't want no shifting. Stiff, tight. Then you have to engage your, your quads and your glutes a little more. And you feel it and you know it. When you go up, you come up with your hips, right? When you go down, you go down with your hips. So don't keep them up there. And time, flip over. Other side, other side, on your back, right away. No, flip over. If I say flip over, if I'm here, flip over means this. So you're here, flip over means this. It's not turning. You going, you are going. Back straight, up and down. Lift your head and shoulders for that last time. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Engage your abs. Leg straight through the knees. Point your toes. Take a deep breath in when you're down. Exhale when you're up. And time, flip over, flip over, right away. Plank walk, go. Remember about those shoulder taps. Go. This is it, but we have one more to go. I'm not gonna let you off the hook. We're going all of them on my list. And this is one set we have, that's it. 10 seconds, Johanna, get down on the floor. You're going, I'm, I'm, I have to count for 10 seconds and then we're gonna finish. Everybody keep on going, nobody's stopping. So Johanna, we do have 10 seconds. And time, now shake it. You stay in a high plank position, you're gonna do knee tucks now. If you want, you can have the knee tucks here. High plank knee tucks. You're going to be pull, doing a knee tucks on the bosu. If you don't have the bosu, you're going to do them on the floor. You can even use the sliders. And then you're going to flip over and do the bridge and knee tucks. So bridge and knee tucks will be right here, okay? So back and forth, back and forth. Go. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? This session is over almost. Oh, okay. So then the next one will be Facebook in an hour. So you can join me on oh. Facebook. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. You can stay with us. <laughs> you can cheer the girls, help them out at the end. But anyway, in an hour, I'm going to have the same session. I'm going to be training myself and teaching you guys. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And time, flip over on your back. Bridge and knee tuck. Bridge and knee tuck. So hips are up. Knees are in line with your ankles. Hips up and you're doing knee tucks. One leg at a time. I want everybody to hold that leg. Count in your head two, three seconds before you're switching, okay? So hold one, two, three, and then switch. One, two, three, and then switch. And dig your abs. Dig your abs. Flip over. Plank, sliders, or knee tucks, or bosu, and sliders. Go. Or just floor. Bosu, it's a stable go. There you go. So your chest, remember, is about that white dot. About that. Right in the center, always. So you know that your shoulders are in a perfect position. Pause and squeeze. Clara, too, too, too fast. A little slower, a little slower on those knee tucks. Ava, come on. One leg at a time.
and flip, flip, give me the bridge, give me the bridge. And you're going. Hold and squeeze, kicks her up. There you go, hands along your side, close towards your body. I think the time slowed down on us. I don't know what happens. I swear it's just like really slow because we gotta hold that position. And flip over one more time. Last minute. I promise this is it. Go. Pull those knees. Tap them. Strong. Tap your knees. Remember, if you are on the goal suit, stay. Plank. Hold. Squeeze. Take your time. Dig in. If you don't want your hands like this, you can hold them here. Ten more seconds here. Inhale and exhale as you're pulling that knee. And time, flip over, flip over. This is it. Last one. Last one right here. Nice, hands along your side, Clara. Really hips are up. There you go. And when you lower the leg, don't just slam it on the ground. Lift and hold and squeeze and bring it down slow. And time. Awesome job. Unmute yourself, please. That was great. Thank you. Oh, thank you for joining me today. Johanna, hey. how are you? Very good. Thank you. I have to go. My son has a game. Oh, how thank nice you. to hear that, that you have to go because he, the kids have activities. <laughs> yes. That's my time. Bye. 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 Eva, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. Awesome. Awesome. So take your time and stretch. We can we can put some stretches in for a second just to loosen you up unless you have to go. Remember, stretches is really not included in the workout. It's after the workout. <laughs> so the same, really, you can literally repeat. The same thing that we did with that bend, but hold the stretch. Hold that stretch for like 30 seconds. To the quad, to the hamstring, to the glute. 30 seconds, taking your time and repeating it. Right leg, left leg on each side. And it's gonna be, you're gonna be great. You're gonna be perfect right after. All right? So drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, make sure that you're doing a good post-workout shape immediately or eating something healthy. Ever the next class is boxing or is it the same of this? It's gonna be the same one. Okay. It's gonna be the same one, yes. All right, so we'll see you later. If okay. somebody wants to hop again on the same workout. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have, Have a good day. Bye everybody. Thank you for joining.